In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to root your Samsung Infuse 4G. This method can only be used for uh, those of you that have the Rogers version of the Infuse and running Gingerbread. Um, if you're not running Gingerbread and you're an AT&T user, do not follow this video. I suggest you turn it off right now. For those of you in Rogers and running Gingerbread, uh, if you go to your settings and then About Phone, you should have this model number. Whoops, this model number right here. Okay. Uh, what you do is download Samsung keys for drivers, um, and you're going to basically follow the instructions in this thread here. I take no credit for this root method. All thanks go to GTG465X, and if you have any problems with this root method, do not ask me. Post in this forum, because I am not the developer, GTG is. And uh, there is a potential risk that you might uh, brick your device, so you're doing this root method at your own... Um, caution. So the only person accountable if you screw something up is yourself. I believe there is a unbricking method for the infuse, but I can't verify that. You would have to uh, research yourself. So the first thing you want to do is hook up your your, com not your computer, sorry, your phone to your computer, rather, and uh, open the SD card. And on the computer, when you open the SD card, you're going to make a folder anywhere here, and one that says we're going to create a new one and name it Voodoo. Um, exact spelling, if I can... Why is it not going? There, this one right here. And then within this folder, you're going to create a folder named like this. Disable dash lag fix. I guess I'll have to type it across the screen because it's not focusing. There you go. So this is what you're going to make inside the, the, this Voodoo folder. Okay. And then from here, you disconnect the phone from the computer. Okay, while it's doing that, um, you're going to have to download the uh, Odin Infused Gingerbread Kernel Zip, which I'll be posting in the description. And what I suggest you do is just extract it to somewhere on your desktop, because it's just a lot easier to access. So for myself, uh, I just made a folder called Odin. Okay, you should just have these things right here. Okay, and um, the user suggests you right-click and run as administrator in case you have any problems. So open up the Odin file, and this is what you should get: this pop-up. Okay, this is the tool needed to um, make the root method work. And you're going to have to download, uh, sorry, not download, put your phone into download mode. So what you're going to do is turn it off. Okay, and GTG has said that in order to make this work, to put in the download mode, you have to hold both volume key buttons on this side, these two, at the same time. Do not touch the power button, just the volume buttons, and then plug in the USB cord to your computer at the same time. I'm still holding it uh, just in case, okay? And this is the uh, warning you should get. It, again, you're getting a warning that you could damage your device if you do something wrong. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention that that warning prompt, press the volume up button to accept the terms. Okay? And your phone should appear here. Uh, the, the way the uh, developer wrote it is that make sure your phone shows up in Odin as COM number number. So in, in this example, I have COM5. And then uh, click the PDA button. I'm following along as you can see. Here is the PDA button. Okay, so as I said, I'm following along. I have done this before. It's just been a long time. You're going to find the other file that came within the zip uh, file, which is the PDA underscore infused underscore gingerbread blah blah blah. Okay. I can do that. Press start. You'll see a whole bunch of prompts here. 
and right now the, the phone is restarting and you should get this it says pass that's a good thing um, here it even says if the phone doesn't automatically restart just pull the battery and do it and when you go to your apps list um, you should see super user somewhere in there that's how you know you got root working now I, I did give you a warning that you could break your device and during this process where I actually press the start button I did actually think I damaged my device what happened is that I had com number here and then I had com number here as well I had two I didn't know you're only supposed to have one and basically what happened is um, the the phone it kind of froze the root method froze on me nothing was working and I thought oh holy cow like my device is bricked all I did was unplug it plug it back in and redo the entire process again and then it worked so even I was a victim of uh, a near scare of uh, breaking my device but you know everything turned out and I just I just showed you that it does work it's so simple you just saw it for yourself so remember do not contact me for advice because I'm not the developer all credit goes to GTG um, you must have Samsung keys installed in order to make everything work um, I guess I'll put a link for Samsung keys in description as well and that's pretty much it so oh one very very important thing for Rogers users by doing this you need root in order to make to get 30 frames per second recording on your camera which is actually in another video which I will link right here and also at the end of the video I'll show you a comparison 15 frames per second to the fixed 30 frames per second because Samsung screwed up the software. Anyway, enough blabbering. If you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel. Check out my website for technology news and rumors, and thanks for watching.